Now, in this part of the test, you're each going to talk on your own for about two minutes. You need to listen while your partner is speaking because you'll be asked to comment afterwards. So, Micah, I'm going to give you a card with a question written on it and I'd like you to tell us what you think. There are also some ideas on the card for you to use if you like. All right, yep. here is your card. Um, please let Dan see your card. Remember, Micah, you have about two minutes to talk before we join in. Okay. Uh, how important is it to have lifelong friends? Well, friends in general are, of course, very important. And I myself have a few friends I've known since I was very young. Um, one in particular, and she is the type of friend I would tell my deepest secrets to. I think she knows everything about me. Um, well, we used to go to summer camp from the age of nine, I guess, until 16. We always went together, so we shared a lot of good experience. But also when something bad would happen in either her or my life, uh, we would be there. We are there for each other and share those experiences. Um, she moved to a different part of my country, but we still speak uh, very often and we keep in touch either by email or phone or chat. And I think it's very important to have these kinds of friends. It's what makes life fun and they really support you through difficult times. Of course you have your family also, of, I mean if I speak for myself, my family are also a very big support. But it's not the same as friends, you choose your friends. So in that way it's different. And if I look at uh, friends, they really mean a lot to me. And if, I don't know if it's possible to have li really lifelong friends. I mean, I can't look in the future and predict if I will know her for the rest of my life. But, I mean, it's very good to have somebody you know through and through. Thank you. Um, Dan, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, yeah, I agree with you about shared experience. I think the uh, shared uh, accomplishes and that you achieved something together, that's something that bonds you, yeah. creates stronger, stronger Absolutely. relationship between you and your friends. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, of course, you, you, your parent can act as a good friend, yeah. a lifelong friend, but it's not the same to have uh, another um, kind of relationship where, yeah. where you can really talk about mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> Yeah. Um, how valuable can short-term friendships be? I think very valuable. I mean, I'm now studying Cambridge for three months and I probably made some friends here I won't see that often or speak uh, with that often after I leave. But right now they're very important to make my stay here pleasant. So I would say very important. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you on yeah. that point actually. Uh, even though you're not perhaps going to meet later on in life, you still want to make the best of your time here. So, yeah, yeah make your stay here more pleasant. Thank you. Uh, now, Dan, it's your turn to be given a question. Here's your card. Um, please let Micah see your card. And remember, Dan, you have about two minutes to tell us what you think. And there are some ideas for you on the card to use if you like. All right. All right. How possible is it for friends to be business partners? Uh, of course, uh, this is a, a possible opportunity to, to start a company together. Uh, you know each other, you know, you share the same goals, hopefully, and you, you have, you, you know exactly where the other person is and uh, how he or she is going to react in different kind of situations. Uh, will, of course, uh, result in a more, hopefully, stable company, a uh, relationship between you and your business partner. Even though this might perhaps lead to um, well, some arguing about different points, um, both can be very uh, stubborn um, and uh, could be some disputes regarding money, money issues and uh, the budget. But uh, I think it's 
I think it's quite possible actually, even though um, I have a tendency perhaps to 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 to, um, to feel some competition between you and your business partners. Uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, a way to to start something together, and as we talked about before, it's a shared uh, experience that uh, you can look back to and, well, hopefully be proud over uh, what you achieved in life. Um, yeah, um, and even though perhaps you can, it's some. It could be a hard journey to to the end goal and your your uh, final destination, but you will always be there for each other. Um, and that connects with the, with the first part, actually, with, with being familiar with each other and our, each other's personalities and, and goals. Thank you. Uh, Michael, what do you think? Um, I agree that it is possible. Um, it, for me, it has both negative and positive aspects. You know each other's strong points and each other's weak points. And you might know how you best uh, cooperate and how to um, work together so that you can, um, like if somebody is lacking at a certain point, the other can step in and take over there. And as friends, you probably know where those points are, mm -hmm. and it's more easy to uh, step in at the right time. Thank you. In the workplace, what makes a good team? I think a good team uh, should circle around different kind of personalities, because uh, different kind of personalities have, you know, both weaknesses and strong, stronger. Uh, stronger <laughs> uh, minds yeah. uh, and that combined result yeah. in, a, in a team that I could agree. cooperate and come up with innovative should be ideas. a variety of pers personalities yeah. and also a variety of skills yeah I think that would make a good business team if you all have your own department where you're good at and everybody leaves mm. to do the certain things to the person who specialized mm. in that and sometimes you, and at, at the same time you need to have uh, all different age groups to, yeah. to have. And then combine, yeah. that will make a strong team, I would say. Thank you. Now, to finish the test, we're going to talk about friendship in general. Um, how important is total honesty between friends? Honesty is a very important thing, I would say. But um, total honesty, I mean, sometimes there are just small lies to maybe protect uh, your friend from getting his feelings hurt or maybe just trying to make something easier by not telling or leaving something out. Well, I agree to you to, to some yeah. extent, but I think though, even though you can use white lies sometimes, yeah. I think that Honesty is something that that really is the foundation of a friendship, and you you, you need to be honest with each other, yeah. or else it will undermine that that relationship you I have think with it your friends. So. Could also define how strong a friendship if yeah, uh, friendship course. is. If you can be totally honest with yeah. each other, then yeah. I think you have a really really strong friendship. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think causes friendships to break down? Well, uh, one aspect could be that you're too dishonest, perhaps, uh, or uh, let your your friend down in a in a situation he needs help and support. Yeah, there can be many things yeah. that can break friendship. Maybe if one of the, one of the two gets in a relationship and neglects the other, mm. and the other doesn't put up with it, which is quite as good, right? Then something like that will destroy or friendship, could destroy friendship. Thank you. That is the end of the test.